Hello, my name is Anjani Kaswani. I'm an Associate Professor of Medicine and the Division Director of Allergy Immunology at the George Washington University School of Medicine and Health Sciences. Today I'd like to talk about management of asthma through the proper use of inhalers. Asthma is a chronic condition characterized by airway inflammation. Triggers of asthma can be allergens, irritants, viral infections, and weather changes. And these triggers will cause airway inflammation, uh, spasming of the airways, and mucus production. Many people with asthma also have uh, conditions such as allergic rhinitis, chronic sinusitis, sleep apnea, and um, acid reflux that also need to be treated. And the goal of the use of inhalers in asthma is to treat symptoms and to preserve good lung function for many years to come. When we think about asthma inhalers, there are essentially two categories. We think about rescue inhalers that many people are familiar with. These will relieve asthma symptoms as they occur. They can be used such as um, albuterol or levalbuterol are common types that people will use. But if someone's using their rescue inhaler more than two times a week or having very frequent asthma symptoms or nighttime awakenings, then oftentimes your physician will recommend a controller medication or a controller inhaler. These controller inhalers are often used once a day or twice a day, and they generally fall into three broad categories, inhaled steroids, long-acting beta agonists, and long-acting muscarinic antagonists. Inhaled corticosteroids reduce airway inflammation. These can be fluticasone, budesonide, mometasone inhalers, to name a few. These ones are the mainstay of keeping the airways open so that breaths can go in and out very easily. And it's very important to rinse your mouth out after using an inhaled steroid to prevent a fungal infection in the mouth. Long-acting beta agonists are used in combination with inhaled steroids as they're not as effective on their own. But these ones can prevent airway um, irritation, airway spasms, and really prevent reactions to these allergens and irritant triggers for 12 to 24 hours. And lastly, these long-acting muscarinic antagonists, they really do a nice job of preventing spasms and reducing um, mucus in the airways. And teotropium is currently approved for severe asthma. Now, asthma is a very dynamic disease. So sometimes you're going to need more inhaler support, and sometimes you're going to need less inhaler support. So it's important to work with your physician to optimize your asthma inhaler regimen to ensure that you have good control of your symptoms and you have preserved lung function for years to come. For more information, please visit the Quad AI website.